everybody to hashtag bet that. I am Mike Knox. That's right, people. Spelt with three X's because, frankly, when it comes to showing you the money, I am hardcore, people. I am your social media's number one handicapper. And, frankly put, you are listening to hashtag bet that right here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 WHAP and Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM YouTube channel as well as Soul and Sports, S-O-U-L, Kepler in Sports. People, listen, I told you people, and I said you people, that I will be back. To be back, you have to come back in a big way. As the great Ric Flair says, to be the man, you have to beat the man. And I was tired of being beat because, frankly, I am the man. So, people, let's do what we came to do and that's show you the money. Okay, people, listen. Last week, I told you guys, I had a horrible Week two. I had a horrible week three. So I could not have a bad week four. And damn it, if I did not answer the bell at 10 and 5 last week, including going 1 and 0 on my locks and my upsets of the week. Now, here's the thing though. When I say not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, boy, do I mean it. Minnesota covered. I covered the seven and I took, I'm sorry, the seven and a half. They they lost by seven. Hey, I take my half a point. Detroit, I took them with my upset. They lost by two. They were underdogs by three. So I still won, and so did you people. But listen, guys, let's get into this. After a 10-5 and five week, I got to come back out just as stellar as before. I had some big wins. I had some surprising losses. But overall, I showed you how to hashtag bet that. It ain't no simply well as put. Make sure you follow me on social media by my name's sake. I am loud. I speak loud. Fellas, if you're not making it get loud, that ain't my problem. That's yours. Mike Knox with three X's. Also, the station giving the identification at 1340 AM Fox Sports on Twitter, social media, Facebook, wherever social media is sold, which is absolutely free. And since you're following him, you can follow me. I might follow you back. Now, this week's Thursday night game, we got the greatest of all time. That means GOAT for those who don't know how to spell. His name is Tom Horatio Rodriguez Brady. Okay, Tom Brady in Foxborough, favored by 10 points against Andrew. Is he running out of luck? And the thing is this, people. 10 points. I cannot take New England and the 10 points. So without a set of a doubt, on this Thursday night game, where the lights are shining brighter, which will be in Foxborough, I'm going to go ahead and lay the 10 for the New England Patriots, people. Simply that put, give me Tom Brady. Until Andrew shows me something different, that luck is running out. Also, we got Baltimore, favorite by three at home, uh, on the road, I'm sorry, over Cleveland. Give me Baltimore in the three points. Sorry, Baker Mayfield, I believe in you. But right now, I got to be honest, people. I don't know where you've been. Baltimore might be one of the best teams in football, and they, until proven otherwise, I'm going to ride that ship, and I was going to say, I'll ride them wheels till the wheels fall off, but right now, we're in the water, and it's smooth selling with Baltimore as them Ravens soaring high. Give me Baltimore and the three points. Then we got Kansas City at home going against Jackson on that defense. Here's a matchup of all matchups, because you got this stellar Jacksonville defense versus, I told you that boy, Pat Mahomes was a problem at home. Coming back off of that tremendous Monday night football game, which, by the way, by the hairs of my chin chin chin, he covered for me. So I go to Patrick Mahomes. So, yes, check it out, guys. Point blank right here, right now, early three picks in. Knock it up! The Kansas City Chiefs will beat the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Easy as put, nothing else to say. Hashtag lock it up. Lock of the week right there. Then we got Tennessee off a of surprising overtime Put your balls in your hand and show them how big you are, Titans, against the Eagles. Listen, Tennessee is for real. Buffalo <laughs> seems to be a joke. They got they win. They beat Minnesota. They messed up the spreads. They were buried by 17 and idiots like myself that took them. But, hey, guess what? I'm taking Tennessee in the four points. Then we got Carolina off of the bye at home going against the New York football Giants and uh, Carolina as we have – Eric Reed, safety getting picked up this week. Listen, Carolina's on all cylinders. The Giants' offense is just struggling. The Giants' defense is just struggling. Give me the uh, the Carolina Panthers, the Kipper Cam, and the Cam Newtons to win this game and cover the seven points. Then we got the J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 taking on the Denver Broncos. And we know the rules. A West Coast team going to East Coast don't fare well. But you know what? That Denver's defense going against that Jets offense, give it an upset of the week. Denver Broncos go to New York and win that game as the West Coast team beats that East Coast team at a 1 o'clock game. Then we got Pittsburgh 
Fair about three points on at home against Atlanta. Both teams should be shot in the pinky toe. Oh, you shot me in the pinky toe and just be put outside because something's a problem. I this would be if Jay Chris and Wally Wild from Swollen Sports were here right now. We would say this is an untouchable special. Do not touch this game. But guess what, y'all? They're not here. It's just me and you. So go ahead and give me Pittsburgh in the three points. Then we got the Packers of Green Bay going on the road against Detroit. Packers favorite by one point. Give me Aaron Rodgers. He's a bad man until proven otherwise. Detroit ain't got no chance in hell. No Vince McMahon needed. Then we got Cincinnati at home. The Bengals coming off of their uh, uh, comeback win against those Atlanta Falcons. Favored by seven points against Miami, who was the cream of the crop in the AFC until Tom Brady said, hold up, not so fast. It's still me, Tom Horatio Brady, also known as the GOAT. Miami got put back into their place. Cincinnati is flying on all cylinders. Give me the Bengals and the seven points at home against Miami. Then we got the Los Angeles Superchargers at home. Favored by six points against Oakland, who got a cheap NFL gave John Gruden no win because that was a first down and I picked the Cleveland Browns to win that game and they should have won that game if not for the NFL. Talking about a bad beat. That was a bad beat. Get your mind out together, people. Give me the Chargers to cover that six points. Then we got San Francisco at home, favorite by four points against Arizona. I will not touch this game. Both teams are just historically bad, but I'm not touching it. But if you want to know, inbox me, DM me. You know how to reach me. And I tell you, who, if, if I had to pick in this game, I would go ahead and, and, and give you this win. But right now, it's definitely an untouchable special. Then we got Philly at home for about three against Minnesota. And I'm just going to keep it honest with you guys, people. There is no way I trust this offense, uh, this defense, I'm sorry, of the Philadelphia Eagles. This team cannot stop anybody. So why do I think... Favorite at home, they could stop Minnesota, who's coming off of two bad losses, coming off of this this NFC Championship game. They have revenge written all over it. Give me Minnesota to come into Philadelphia, y'all, and win that game. So there it is. Give me Minnesota to go into Philadelphia and win that game. I'm going to say it one more time because I can't believe I'm saying that myself. Give me Minnesota to come into Philadelphia and win that game. I hope it doesn't happen, but if I had to put my money on it, I'm going with Minnesota. Then we got the Rams of Los Angeles on the road against Seattle. Here's an original matchup, guys. When Seattle was that team to beat and the Rams was a climbing team, they would give Seattle fits. Now, Seattle has problems. Earl Thomas is carted off. Flipping off the sideline. Where is Seattle at right now? Don't matter. The Rams are the best team in football on the road in Seattle. I'm taking the Rams of Los Angeles to win that game. The new name, I dubbed them the Rams of Los Angeles to win that game and cover the seven. Then we got Houston at the Sunday Nighter at home. Fair about three against Dallas. Listen, guys. This is a pick em game as well. I'm going to go ahead and pick Houston. I don't still don't believe in Dallas and his offense. I still don't believe in Rain, Dakota, Prescott. And, and uh, listen, frankly, it's put, simply it's put, rather, if you will, so to speak, all the Dallas Cowboys has is a really good defense or coming to be good defense and Ezekiel Elliott. I don't think that defense is better than uh, with the offense. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Houston to cover the three points. Then the Monday Nighter, Washington. On the road against New Orleans, ferry by seven points is New Orleans. Give me New Orleans to cover the seven points against Washington. So here you guys have it, top to bottom, bottom to top, because we're here. Give me the Patriots. Give me Baltimore. Give me Kansas City. Give me Tennessee. Give me Carolina. Give me Denver with my upset of the week. My lock of the week was Kansas City, by the way. Then give me Pittsburgh. Give me the Packers of Green Bay. Give me Cincinnati. Give me the Chargers of LA. Give me the Do Not Touch Arizona, San Francisco. Give me Minnesota. Give me the Rams of Los Angeles. Give me Houston. And give me New Orleans. God, listen. My name is Mike Knox. Hashtag Beck. That little short show this week. I got to go out here and take care of some things. But listen, guys. Tune in every single week at the Soul and Sports at capital S-O-U. Well, Kepler and Sports on Fox Sports Radio 96.9 FM and yours truly, Mike Knox. Anywhere BDSIR Networks is sold, which is absolutely free. Just Google me, baby. Mike Knox. Three X's, y'all. I'm hardcore, and we out of here.